What classic console should you get? Reissues of classic consoles are honestly no new thing at this point. The C64 direct to TV and the Atari 10 in one, those have been around since like the early 2000s. The Atari flashback, one of the more popular ones, it's on it like its ninth iteration or something. And for the completely uninitiated, uh, the difference between a classic console and the normal version of the console, uh, let's see. Oh, this old honking thing takes cartridges. You have to buy each game on a different cartridge, take it home, put it in, play the game. But this version has a pre-selected set of games and you're stuck with those 30 games forever. That's, that's all you can play on it. So ideally when you buy one of these classic consoles, you should be able to just take it home, plug it in, it'll just work and you'll have a greatest hits-esque selection of games that you remember from your childhood. So I'm going to take a look at three of the sort of mainstream ones that have come out in the past couple years and sort of compare them and give you an idea of what the differences are between them. And more importantly, which one gives you the best nostalgia blast of sorts. You know, emulators have been around forever. You could always emulate these games. It's not like these classic consoles are really offering anything new. I, again, what I think they're really selling you here is the complete experience of, you know, unboxing it, the, the boxes look like the boxes that the original consoles came in, and same with all the, all the literature. When Nintendo released their first one, the NES Classic Edition, people went absolutely apeshit for it. Nintendo either greatly underestimated the demand for the NES Classic Edition, or they created artificial scarcity by shipping a smaller amount of units than they anticipated they would be able to sell. You be the judge. But people were selling these things on eBay for like two, three times the actual suggested retail price. Ridiculous, obviously Nintendo's gonna end up making more. They did eventually ramp up production and then a year later, they came out with a sort of sequel, the Super NES Classic Edition. Obviously they come with their respective controllers and I gotta say, the build on all these things, very, very authentic feeling controllers from Nintendo. The systems, like, even the color of the plastic used, I mean, this one's, this is pretty haggard looking now, but trust me, when it came out, <laughs> I think it was this color. But going back to the whole experience thing, I think Nintendo is the only company that actually nailed it in this regard. The the UI design, the game selection, the box art, the controllers, there were no misses there really. And that's not true for every classic console. So at the end of 2018, about a year after Nintendo comes out with their second console, Sony hops on the bandwagon and they bring out, ooh, the PlayStation Classic. Oh yeah, that's the first time we've hit that generation. Gonna play some cool 3D games, right? Like Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. No, no you're not, because while Nintendo made a lot of their own games and therefore still owns the licenses to those games because they still exist after all this time, Sony themselves isn't really a first party game developer. There's always other rights to deal with when you're trying to license a PlayStation game and apparently this is hard for even Sony to pull off. Problem is none of those games made it on to the PlayStation Classic? Remember playing a Nintendo, what comes to mind? Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3, Legend of Zelda, of course, uh, Balloon Fight, Ice Climbers. Uh, yep, yeah, those are all on here. Every single one of those. We got Castlevania, Excite Bike. There's not every game on here, but all of the immediate ones that come to mind are covered on here. It's a great sort of collection of NES games. Same with the Super Nintendo. The Sony console? There are some good ones on here, including a few I remember playing, like Siphon Filter, Twisted Metal, Final Fantasy VII, that's a huge one, the original Metal Gear Solid. But then there's some really sort of odd ones on here too. Cool Borders 2? Like when you think of PlayStation, who would have Cool Borders 2 be the first game that comes to mind. They included Rainbow Six, first person shooter, which would be cool, except for 
they included the original controller, not the analog stick version. So you're not gonna actually honestly wanna play Rainbow Six with, with this, are you? I think game selection is sort of the most important thing that this all comes down to. And in pretty much every other regard, I think these three consoles really, really nailed it. It's just, I think Sony fell a little short in the game selection because they don't have easy publishing rights to all these classic games like Nintendo does. I actually love the hardware for the PlayStation Classic and it's, it's crazy how, how detailed it is, just like the Nintendo and Super Nintendo. They even have the little parallel I.O. port at the back, it doesn't work. One thing I do like better about the PlayStation hardware, standard USB ports instead of these proprietary Wii ports on the Nintendo ones. It's definitely worth mentioning that all three of these can be modded. I'm not gonna bother modding them because if I want to play a game that's not included on here, I'll just run it in an emulator on my PC. I don't really, I don't have a use for another emulation box that much. But if I had to pick one and the other two had to go, I had to just live with one of these, I would probably go with a Super Nintendo. I think it's just the overall best selection of, of games. Uh, the, the box art hardware is great. I'm just likely to get the most use out of this console in particular because of the game selection. They are really nice to have around just as a little greatest hits collection of games for a console. It's great to, to boot one of these up and jump into a game you haven't played before, maybe one you haven't beat before. And that's about it for this little video comparing these three classic consoles. I love them all. What do you guys think? Do you have one of these? Do you actually use it? Let me know in the comments and I will see you next time.